Thank the Lord for so much coming back once again. The title, Homosexuals in the Black Church. Homosexuals in the Black Church. And big shout out to my boy Raven. I want me to do this video as a minister of music, as a black minister of music. And uh, the things that we deal with, and some of the questions we are asked, and things that we go through. And then we all know, and I'm not talking bad about nobody, but homosexuality is all over the music department. That ain't no secret. First of all, I don't have nothing against homosexuals. I love them also. I don't agree with, I don't agree with, I don't agree with the sin. I'm like God, I love the sinner but hates the sin. We all got something wrong with us. I don't care who you are. But the problem is we want to keep putting label on sin. But the topic is homosexuality in the black church. Now, let's look at this. God said, I sent my son not to condemn the world. But through him, the world could be saved, correct? Well, homosexuality ain't the only sin in the church. What about the dope dealers that's in the church? What about the people that's on crack? What about the people that can't stop drinking? What about the hoes and the prostitutes in the church? See, if you're going to talk about sin, you got to label all sin. It ain't just homosexuality. God loves the homosexuals also, people. And so many people are too busy condemning in the pulpit that they're not, they not seeing this. Yeah, you should have a problem with it. Yeah, the Bible teaches us on the qualifications of a bishop, a deacon. We are all supposed to be Christ-like if we call ourselves Christians. Now, it is sad that you look in half of these churches. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You got a homosexual on the organ. You got homosexuals, excuse me, homosexuals in the pulpit. You got homosexuals in the choir stand, in the congregation. It's all over. The problem is, ain't nobody talking hard about salvation, and ain't nobody talking about repenting. Because I'm going to be all the way blunt with you. If you take the homosexuals out of the church right now, you can pretty much close up half of your music departments and the choir. Some folks ain't going to even sing at all. Because we sit there and cheer this stuff on. Oh, he sure can sing. Oh, he sure can preach. And you know they ain't right, but you put them in position. See, that's when I have a problem with you putting anybody in position. We all got something wrong with us. But if you ain't right, you ain't got no business being in leadership. That go for myself on down. I'm not excluded. And we don't sit here and let any and everything go by. Yes, we know we're supposed to forgive. But the Bible teaches us certain things. Let me say this right. The Bible teaches us no sin will inherit the kingdom. But so many people are pinpointing the homosexuality that they ain't focusing on the rest of the sins. And they ain't telling them that, well, you can be forgiven. You get more and more minister of music put in positions that are homosexuals and they getting put in positions just because they can play. And the preacher not even asking them about their salvation. Do they even want to get saved? Then you got preachers being put in position that are homosexuals. Oh, y'all, come on, let's just keep it all the way real. So do I agree with homosexuality? No. But once again, I don't agree with no sin. I love the homosexuality. I, I love the homosexuals. I hate the, I hate the sin. Because believe it or not, people, that's still God's children. The lesbians, those are still God's children. It's in the Old Testament and the New Testament. We know about, the, about what happened back in the day. And don't sit here and say that, well, that's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Because that was not the reason why. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, period, because it wasn't nobody righteous. And you got preachers getting up for using that to preach against homosexuality, and that ain't right. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because he couldn't find 50, 40, 30, not even 20, not 10, Nothing. Nobody was righteous. So that ought to let you know it was more than homosexuality uh, going on in them cities. Come on, people. God loves the sinner but hates the sin. They can be saved, people. They can. That's why I tell the truth. Do I agree with it? No. But see, I got to look at myself in the mirror. I got something wrong with me. I'm not a homosexual, but I got something else wrong with me. Sin is sin. You got something else wrong with you, but you want it's so easy to point the finger at somebody else because, well, you know they gay, dog. They, you know they worse than me, man. Now they ain't worse than you. A gay man ain't no worse than the man shooting dope up his arm, man. 
child molester, whatever you want to call it, it's all sin. That's why we are under this grace and mercy. See, they got time to repent, people, while they're still breathing. Just like you got time to repent with something wrong with you. But you too busy judging the homosexual. See, this is why JT don't judge nobody. I got homosexual friends. I'm around them. I'm a minister of music. I'm around gay people all the time, people. I speak to them and I never judge them. And you know what? They are some of the most intelligent people you will ever meet. They are smart. But the abuse that we are using in these churches and the black church, see, the black church is all messed up, period. It ain't just homosexuality that's messing up the black church. Now nah, you better check the whole church out. Check out what you putting in position. What are you basing your church on? Because if it ain't lining up with this word of God, there's your problem right there. That's why I can talk to atheist people. I can talk to homosexuals. I can talk to prostitutes, drug dealers. Let me say something about these people. Sinners. We are all sinners. Something wrong with all of us. The way Jesus deal with sinners and the way that we deal with sinners, it don't even match up because we condemning each other. Jesus loved the homosexual. Jesus loved the dope dealer. Jesus loved the prostitute. He loves everybody. You got a choice to choose. If you want to keep being a homosexual, then you know by scripture, if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways, you are not going to inherit the kingdom. Ain't no way around it. And no, God did not make you that way. People need to stop lying on God. That's another thing. That's why we're going to tell the truth. We got to tell the truth. God didn't create no man to be with another man. We ain't going to keep lying on God. I'm sorry. I'm going to defend them. I'm going, I'm going to stand up for the word of God. No, God didn't make man with man. Just like he didn't make woman with woman. He made woman for man. Made, made, her, made her man's help me. Got to tell the truth. So when we look at sin and all people, no sin will inherit the kingdom. Whether you're a homosexual or a prostitute, whatever your sin is, if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways, that's how you wind up in hell. That is how you wind up in hell. But the problem is we got this, this love of money in these churches, these black churches. So many of them got this love of money that instead of standing on the word of God, they're going to stand on the sin. They're going to stand on what's wrong. If you, if you know you ain't right, Bible teaches you, especially for a bishop. If you don't have your own home in order, you can't run your own, your own home, you ain't got no business being in the pulpit. No on a deacon board, no type of leadership. See, you got to, you got to be Christ-like and live for Christ. No, you are not going to be perfect, but you should be striving toward being better and perfect what you do. That's why you don't put no anybody in position. I'm around homosexuals all the time, people. All the time. And they know what they do is wrong. Some of them just plain don't care. But like I say, while you pointing fingers at the, at the homosexual, what about the deacon on the front row sleeping and running all the holes in the church? See, what about the pastor that unslipped and slept with one of those members in the church? We want to focus on one particular sin. Sin is sin, people. What about that, that musician in the corner just running up? He running everybody on the praise team. But you want to just say, oh, the homosexual. No, sin is sin. That's my take on it. I love the homosexuals. Hate the sin. I love the dope dealers. I hate they selling dope. I hate, I hate that the prostitute said in their body because I still look at them as a precious woman that was created by God. When you only run out of options when you stop looking for options. It's always, it's always a better way, people. Some people just don't want to struggle the hard way. But I got a news flash for you to get blessed where you got to go through a struggle. If we stop basing these churches on how much money we can take up and start getting on this salvation, then maybe people will start being saved, getting delivered, turning from their wicked ways. But we make it okay as the black church. You sitting in there clapping and hallelujah, amen, and oh, they sang in their heart out, and you know they you know they don't even need to be in position. And soon church over you in the parking lot. Man, that dude sang that song was gay as hell. But you was just not clapping, talking about hallelujah, amen. Oh, that preacher was, that preacher can sing, and you know the preacher is gay. See, we, we hand clap the stuff. 
Some of us even laugh at it. Folks getting up talking about can I testify to you when I uh, when I got delivered and they still gay, they still prostitutes, they still running in the streets, they still doing what they want to do, but yet they lying and saying they are delivered. I'm sorry, people, the truth got to be told. You are not delivered because God don't have delivered nobody. That's why I did that video. Quit trying to get saved every every other day. When God, when God hits you, God hits you. God don't play no games. You done got caught up in what everybody else is doing. Well, sister such and such got saved last week. If you don't get a relationship with God, you in big trouble. So that's how I stand on the black church with the homosexuality. I see it in my neighborhood. I see it in the stores. It ain't just church. I don't even have to go to church to see homosexuality people. That's just like saying I'm going to stop hearing cussing and all this and, and people getting drunk and shooting up dope in their arm when I stay in the hood. I see this stuff 24-7. I have it knocking on my front door. Homosexuals on down. And you know what? They want to be helped, not condemned. That's why they won't go to church. We done made it now where we can't even accept nobody to come in the house of God to get delivered. Because folks are judging them at the front door. And they wonder why their church ain't growing. And you wonder why you got the same people in there doing the same thing for the last 20, 30 years. The homosexuals can be saved. Yes, they can. Remember how bad you used to be. Some of us still are. I don't remember none of us walking on no water and being so good. Oh, yeah. But we got all these homosexuals in the way. You got sin. You The church is full of sinners. Get up off of just this homosexuality. The church is full of sinners from the pulpit on down. You got all this gossip going on. No, oh, that ain't no sin. Folks talking about the preacher time he, time he get through with his sermon. You got folks sitting on the front pews, sitting beside each other, can't even stand each other. But claiming that they love God so much. Well, how can you say you love God and you can't even say you love your own brother and your own sister? And you judging them every time you see them. And then people going to always remind you of what you do anyway. Or what you have done in the past. Because some of them have been saved all their life. Like some of these holding down folks I know. So busy talking about somebody else. And can't look in the mirror for five minutes. Can't stand what they look at when they look in the mirror. Sin is sin. Name any sin you want. Talk about sin and hold it ain't going to inherit the kingdom. Because it trips me out when I see these, these same pastors that talk about homosexuality. Then when you go to their church, that's what they have on their music department. That's what they have in their choir stand. But when they go somewhere else, they preaching, well, why you ain't practicing what you preach at your own home? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, homosexuality is big. It ain't just in the church. It's all over. It is all over. You got more men getting men and more women getting women. That look like the way of the world now. Chances of finding a good woman, fellas, slim and slimmer. Women, chances of you finding a good man is getting slimmer and slimmer. Because the men is taking the men. And the prison is getting the men. The women are taking the women. But ain't nothing new under the sun, people. Why we want to act shocked? We need to take back the house of God. Let me say this scripture one more time. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, then Jesus said, he said, they did, that's when they're going to hear from me. He said, I will even heal the land. If we were to turn from our wicked ways, we could get a whole lot of healing right now. But the problem is we will not turn from these wicked ways, people. It's all about money now. Church number came a business. Believe that. It ain't about soul saving half the time no more. It's about the business side of it. It's about how much money we're going to take up. It's about who's going to have the fanciest suit on. Who's going to have the biggest car. Who's going to have the biggest house. We're going to preach about this. Oh, we're going to preach about this big. And, and like me, me and me, the man were just talking about the, the false teaching behind prosperity. We done made it now where healing ain't better than money. <laughs> And I'm going to get out of here on that. Be blessed.